Hello guys and gals and welcome. Uh, so cheaters. Cheaters. That's right. We got cheaters in Diablo 4 already. Uh, Diablo 4 posted a blue message. This is a developer message, obviously, by Pez Radar from the Community Manager. He said, We are committed to keeping the world of Sanctuary a safe and fair place for all players, and our game security team constantly monitors for cheats and unauthorized modifications. All Diablo 4 players agree to the Blizzard EOLA as a condition of playing the game. The Blizzard EOLA explicitly prohibits cheating, bots, hacks, and other unauthorized software, which automates, modifies, or otherwise interferes with the game. This is important to player security as well as the game's long-term integrity. With that in mind, we want to make it clear that Turbo HUD 4, like any mod game modifying software, is prohibited for use with Diablo 4. Players who install this kind of software will put their accounts at risk for disciplinary action, which can include permanent suspension. Thank you to our players for helping keep Sanctuary fair for all. Yes, there is a illicit program already for Diablo 4, and people have been utilizing it. Let's go take a look at it, shall we? <coughs> Why not? Right-click, search Google, TurboHUD4.com. TurboHUD4 for Diablo 4. Turbo HUD 4, oh, what is that? Hold on, what are you skipping so fast for? Action, base, resource value, activated, waypoint names on map, all quest names on map, altar of Lilith on map, aspect name, chest on map, event timers below mini map, items on map, legendary drop notifications, missed equipment count over inventory missing waypoint on map icon on map name on map monster on map regular monster on map elite monster on map npc icons on ground players on ground portal destination on map side quest name on map sign on map star trackers in game or stat trackers in game stronghold on map troubadour inventory and paper doll what the hell okay names over top of the aspects Names over top of the aspects. Map hack. Straight up just to reveal the entire map. Okay. Not really sure what they're showcasing in that screenshot. I guess the icon over the occultist, maybe? I don't know. Icon over the weaponsmith. Icons over specific items on the map. I don't know what they're showcasing there. Uh, it's pretty obvious what they're showcasing there. Look at the mini-map all lit up. Different icons all over the place. And this one, the entire map is showed up. The quests are showed up. The strongholds. Everything is basically lit up on the map. Huh. Key features. Experience Diablo 4 like never before with Turbo HUD. The ultimate companion designed to take your gaming to new heights. Our cutting edge overlay is meticulously crafted to enhance every aspect of your gameplay, delivering a fully immersive and personalized adventure. Uh, let's see what it offers. Uh... Yeah, da, 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 nothing really fancy there. From default plugins, configurations to personalized layouts, you have the freedom to fine tune the overlay to match your preferences seamlessly. Um, seamless integration, boosted performance, crucial stats, timers, and alerts at your fingertips. Overlay streamlines your gaming experience, allowing you to focus on epic quests. Sounds to me like this is basically map hack on steroids. And, you know, game programs like this don't always have illicit features. Let me just say this right off the bat, because I feel like I'm going a little harsh on this. Like, something like this is rather innocuous. Like, putting the names on each one of the aspects so that you can see what they are, without having to hold, having to hold your mouse over it, that's just something that's, like, innocuous. But, on the same token, like, something like this, which is literally having the ability to choose what's on your map to the point where you're showing off things that you shouldn't be able to see, like where the chests are, for instance, like where the mystery chests are, just putting that on the map, um, you know, where the elites are, so you can hunt down the elites specifically. Um, you know, there are specific things in this that definitely would be considered cheating, 100%. 
Um, yeah. So, looks like Blizzard is taking a pretty harsh stance on this, obviously, and, and I'm glad that they are, because having come from Diablo 2, where map hack programs and basically bot programs have completely ruined the original version of the game to oblivion and back, it's nice to see them take a little bit of a harsh stance on this as far as Diablo 4 is concerned. Now, on the same token, they're also giving you guys a warning. If you guys can't tell, this is a... If they wanted to ban you for it, they would just ban you for it. They're not going to just put this out here if they wanted to ban you they're putting this out here to let you know hey you know uninstall the program like just move on just stop it just just stop it all right if you stop it we're not going to do anything we're not going to ban you you're not going to do anything you're not gonna, there's not going to be any issues but if you keep it up ban wave coming in hot probably um this is this is probably preceding a brand ban wave i would i'd be pretty sure that's exactly what this is um, obviously that's not all I wanted to talk about. Uh, we also have the, uh, the campfire chat coming up tomorrow, uh, or rather, what is it? Uh, today's the 26th and then like I'm recording early in the morning. So it's technically the 27th. So tomorrow, basically, um, tomorrow is the campfire. We're going to have a, uh, you know, a good look at that. Obviously we've got the maintenance coming up today and the maintenance most likely has something to do with the patch coming on the 28th. And of course they're telling us that the 1.1 campfire patch, um, is going to come basically Friday after the campfire. So I'm pretty sure what we're looking at is this maintenance is for the patch. The campfire comes the day after the maintenance, and then they're going to apply the patch. So we're going to get you know whatever's going on with that. Um, I'll obviously be there covering this, so tune in. We're going to have fun. We'll get some popcorn, and we'll see what they got to say because it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Uh, even when it's just me bringing you some silly news about uh, cheaters getting banned and new map hack programs and whatnot. And uh, as always, keep watching.